guys, Dave from Timber Time Outdoors. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are gonna do a fun little test. We're gonna test the capacity of my new B2601 and more specifically, it's loader, the LA435. So stay with us. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day. All right, guys, if you're watching this video, obviously you're doing some tractor research. You're trying to understand, you know, if the B2601 will work for you. And you're probably looking at one of these and many others. And more specifically, you're looking at a chart here on this page about the loader. If you're trying to figure out if this loader's got enough capacity for you, you're very familiar with this chart. And I'll put the chart up on the screen, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. But essentially what this test is, you know, it's going to be a little bit of fun. It's going to be a little bit of science. Um, we are going to lift four logs that I have pre-cut and estimated in terms of weight. And uh, we're, going to, we're going to validate these numbers that are in this chart and try to put some real world meaning to those. So what I want to do in this test here is to try to give you some context to this document, right? So you're looking at this and you're comparing it to other tractors and it does a just, you know, it does a fine job of comparing these numbers to other tractors numbers and you can see who's winning right but what it doesn't do for you and it didn't do for me when I purchased this tractor is it didn't put it into context for me it didn't tell me can I lift a dirt load into my dump trailer can I lift up a certain size log you know what do these numbers actually mean because typically you're not out there weighing your logs and you're not out there weighing your dirt pile or your gravel and so what I'm gonna to try to do in this in this video is give you four examples of some estimated weights of some logs and we're gonna lift them up um, a little bit of some ground rules about this test first whenever you do a test like this you open yourself up to comments I am more than happy to respond to comments and in fact I do want to hear your comments about the test but cut me some slack here guys okay so you know I don't have a, a load cell or anything like that we're doing some estimates we're trying to um, do some real world examples okay so what we're going to do is kind of explain the weights the test and the tool we have here and then we'll jump into it but the first thing i want to talk about is the loader specification chart in this chart they give you four numbers there's two under lift capacity and there's two under breakout force so first what do they mean by lift capacity they're basically what they're talking about is can this loader lift your load all the way to the top of the stroke? Okay, that's lift capacity. Breakout force is very confusing to me, and probably you, but what they mean by breakout force is actually, can it lift it off the ground? Can it break it off the ground? It has nothing to do with pushing it forward or breaking it loose. It's, can it lift it up? And they basically talk about two dimensions. They talk about the pivot pins. Okay, so I'll show you the pivot pins here. They talk about at the pivot pin, which is right here. And guys, you don't lift anything right here. So to, to me, that number is completely worthless. Um, what's, what's more real life is, I think it's 19.7 or something like that, inches from the pivot pin. So really it's, you know, for this test, right in the center of the grapple. So we're gonna try to get our load right in the center of the grapple. These logs are 17 inches, 20 inches in diameter, you know, so they're barely gonna fit in here. You know, the, this is about what, 17? So these are some big logs and they're gonna sit almost perfectly for this test at about 19 or 20 inches, okay? So that's the number that matters. It's, it's um, you know, the distance from the pivot pins 19 inches out, not, not the number at the pivot pins. All right, now that we understand this chart, lift capacity, breakout force, and the numbers we really care about are, are 19.7 inches from the pivot pin, and just kind of read them off here. Um, for lift capacity, they've got it at 659 um, pounds. And for breakout force, they've got it at you know, 1,520. All right, so we're gonna try to take four different logs at different weights, and I'll put those up on a chart and give it a test, all right? And the thing I wanna stress here is a couple things. First, safety. All right, so I wanna stress safety just a little bit about lifting um, materials and loads with a loader on a tractor. Um, it can be very dangerous and that's because there are so many different factors on how the tractors are set up. I'm just going to talk about what I've done here, okay? So I filled my tires with uh, fluid, so I've got good ballast there and I've also got a, a back blade hanging off there for more ballast. The more ballast, the better. Um, tractors are set up very differently and so um, 
they can get very tippy if you don't have good ballast. So that's, you know, safety thing number one. And I don't know why tractor companies don't try to, you know, dial that in a little bit better, make things safer. You know, they can predict these numbers, but these numbers mean nothing if you don't have good ballast, you'll tip right over. So um, for this test, I've got great ballast. I'm actually gonna put the back blade down on the ground for even more stability. But safety number one, good ballast, okay? We talked about the distance from the pivot pins, that's good. The other thing that's super important is statics versus dynamics. And I don't wanna to get too uh, scientific on you there, but if you're moving around with a load, that's a totally different game than if you're sitting still on level ground, the load is perfectly centered and you're lifting up and curling, okay? I'm not gonna test any dynamics. We don't have any hills or anything like that and that gets just way too squirrely. I'm gonna sit here on my tractor I'm gonna put the load at 19 inches from the pivot pins on level ground with good ballast and I'm gonna lift them up and I'm gonna to try to curl it. And we're just gonna see how it performs with four different logs. I'll put that chart up here. I, you know, I'm guessing here they're you know, 350 pounds, 650 pounds, 900 pounds, and like 1200 pounds, something like that. We're gonna kind of do it incrementally and just see how this performs. Just keep in mind that safety is super important. Don't try this at home. Um, we're just doing a static test, uh, so don't beat me up too hard in the comments. One very important detail that I need to mention is you've got to add in the weight of the grapple or whatever implement you're lifting with. So if you're using a bucket, a grapple, you got to add that weight into the capacity. So in the calculation for these logs, it'll be the log plus the grapple. And this artillion grapple weighs just under 300 pounds. For the purposes of this, we're going to round up 300 pounds. Okay, I think we explained the test. We talked about the parameters of the test. Um, I've got the logs ready out in the wood yard. I think we're ready to head back there and do some lifting. Let's get to it.
right guys that's gonna wrap up the uh, loader test here hopefully you learned something you enjoyed it what did we learn here first thing I learned is that this thing has a very strong ability to curl um, as you saw as we got up towards the top of the stroke with those two heavier logs started to bog down and got a little dangerous tippy wise so you know keep that in mind you know even though these uh, these charts say that the tractor can lift it it can only do that on perfect you know situation with ballast and so forth I got a lot of ballast on this thing and you saw those two logs that are right at the limit of this tractor you know I started to feel myself tip a little bit so um, that's super important when it comes to lifting with the tractor I also think we learned um, that the numbers in the catalog or in the brochure are pretty accurate if you if you think about that static load and perfect conditions real world I think you got to temper that down a little bit just be safe out there guys um, okay gotta wrap this video up um, thanks for watching hopefully you learned something don't beat me up in the comments too much please make a comment we can all learn from that uh, like button is super important for the channel share it with your friends and subscribe and remember everybody keep it in the timber bye bye